you know, there was such freedom. In fact, invention was, was needed, and it used to so uh, bewilder me that enough invention wasn't made in story that we could go ahead and draw. It was so hard to sit there. You know, it was easy to invent the little businesses, the little stuff, yeah. but uh, to uh, try to analyze certain actions at times seemed very, very difficult because we had no reference to live action. And uh, our only study was the Lutz book, if you recall that. I think yeah. you've mentioned that in some of your writings, Mike. Yeah. That plus Paul Terry's films. And uh, as Rudy had said, he's very right in that. We used to get these at the exchange through a girl who worked there. And uh, in that there was no sound, we could treat those things rather freely, and we would take scissors and clip out maybe 50 or 75 feet. <laughs> they needed editing anyway. You know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just run and run and run. Uh -huh. uh, if they had Farmer Al swimming, he would swim uh, forever. Yeah. Uh, no stops, except yeah. to turn around and swim back the other way, or run this way, and then turn and run the other way. Yeah. That kind of thing. They needed editing, so we'd prune them pretty freely and keep these strips of films as uh, studies. Mm -hmm. And that's the way we learned to animate. That we learned a lot from Terry, because none of us, no one of us, knew much at that time. We couldn't. Have. We had no instructors. <laughs>